All right, guys, so we're going to be working on some chokes from the close guard, okay, on what happened last, uh, last week. So close guard here, one hand digs in. So two hands on the collar, pull him to me with my knees, okay, use my knees, and now my hand goes all the way behind, almost like I want to touch the lapel there, the label of his gi, okay? As soon as he start coming up, I hang on that hand, the second hand comes under, and we grab his collar as deep as I can, almost meeting the other finger. I'll pull him to me, and I'll bend my elbows in, twist my wrist onto his neck, okay? So basically, I'll pull this arm in, the second hand will come under, I'm gonna pull the person to me, and we're gonna twist the wrist inside. So watch my hands here, if I only open my elbow, look at the gap in between my hands, okay? If I pull him to me, and I turn my wrist in, you actually close that gap. Okay, so pull, catch, he come up, okay? I can turn a little bit to the side if I have to, to create an angle, and then as soon as my hands all the way deep in, I can come back, pull, and close. So that's the first one, okay? Second one, same thing. We pull, we catch. Now, what I like to do is the same side I have the collar, I pretend I'm gonna go for a number. Okay, so it's a bit of a, like, a wrong way, or f like, it's not super efficient for the armbar, but enough for him to worry about it. And as soon as he pulls it, my hand comes through, and now my palm is down. Okay, all the way across the neck, so my forearm is touching his neck, and I catch whatever I can catch, and I come back in the middle, pull him in, and choke. Okay, same thing. First one, my palm facing forward, my palm facing forward this way. Next one, my palm in, and then the other hand comes right across. Okay, so I'm looking at the back of my hand now. Another one here, you pull, bring the hand in, and you catch him right on top, and you catch whatever you can catch in the material here, okay guys? This grip's not gonna change anymore. From now, I turn my head to this empty space, and I, my arm comes over, and I get the choke. If I grab it over here and I let it go and then I turn, when I come back, we go back to the other choke. But now he has chance to defend it, okay? Because in this case here, he's being very defensive, he's very hard, he's not giving me much. So I come right over the top, as I pull him, I feel him pulling away. I let it go, but I keep my grips and I'll do the same thing. Pull it in, twist the wrist in. Always in, elbow to ribs, and then like butterfly wrists here. <laughs> All right.